everybody and welcome back to our next installment, our April installment of the Kelborn Woolens uh, Year of Bulky Hats videos. Uh, so today we'll be looking at the April hat. It's this beautiful cabled texture. Now their sample's been in a fairly rich color, so sometimes it's a little bit difficult to pick up on the camera, but if you visit their website or their Ravelry account, you can download the pattern for free and see a more detailed picture as well as pictures of other people's projects. So the April hat is called the Ardley hat and it has this beautiful wandering cabled texture. And so today we're gonna to talk a little bit about how to read a cable pattern on a chart because the instructions are charted. And we're going to do a little demonstration as well on my yarn here. And so you'll see that I haven't actually gone ahead and knit a full brim here. I've just knit a couple of rows of ribbing. Uh, so your brim will be quite longer compared to mine, but I ran out of time, so here we are. Um, some of the accessories you're gonna need, you're going to need um, a skein of the Germantown Bulky. You are going to need five millimeter and six millimeter 16 inch circulars, as well as some DPMs. You'll want a stitch marker so you can keep track of where you are in your round. You're also going to want a cable needle to help you out with your cable knitting. I have two varieties here. Some of them have a more pronounced dip. Sometimes they're just a little, stick with a little bit of, a, of an indent. Um, people get creative. I've seen people use bobby pins, DPNs, whatever you've got. You'll also need some darning needles um, for the end of your project. So let's take a look at the pattern real quick. Um, we are gonna start with a rib brim as instructed. Then we're gonna do a setup row, which is gonna take us from our 64 stitch cast on to 80 stitches. So let's do that real quick. And then before we uh, move on to our body of our hat, we're gonna change to our larger needle. So for our uh, setup rows, I've gone ahead and knit two stitches and purl two stitches, and now I need to make one right. So to make one right, you're going to take the tip of your left needle, you're gonna duck it between this line of yarn between our two stitches. If you pull on it, it will tighten this stitch or it will tighten this stitch. It's really this, the thread that connects these two stitches. So we're gonna take the tip of the needle and swoop from behind and catch it. And then we're gonna knit into it. It's always a little bit awkward to do a make one right or a make one left. If it doesn't feel awkward, then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> it should always feel awkward and that's how you know you're not gonna end up with a big hole when you've moved on. So I'm gonna do another two, knit two, uh, and then I'm gonna make one left. So make one left is very similar, except instead of going from the back, we're gonna go to the front, make one left. And this one, we're actually gonna knit through the back loop instead of knitting through the front. This is super easy, knitting through the back loop is awkward and uncomfortable, and that's how you know you're doing it right. Uh, then we're going to purl two. Move the yarn to the front, purl two stitches, one, two, and repeat. So knit two, and purl two, and then I'll do that again. We're going to, again, from the back, so be right back is a really good way to remember that make one right goes into the back. Here we are. And then we're gonna knit it. So it would be so easy to go in like this, but then we'd end up with a really big hole. So instead you wanna go in ugh, awkwardly into the front of that stitch and knit it. And then we're gonna knit two. And we're gonna bring our needle to the front and grab that leg. Whoop. And then this would be easy, so we don't wanna do that. We wanna go in, oh, so awkward, to the back of the stitch for our make one left. And we're just gonna continue to do that repeat around until we get to the front again, when we get back to our stitch marker, and then we will do just a very standard knit two, purl two, knit four, purl two, around until the end. All right, so I have gone ahead and finished off my brim. Like I said before, mine's gonna be a lot shorter than yours will be, because you will wanna knit like a full two and a half inch brim, as you can see in the reference photo. Um, so my setup rounds are done and I'm ready to switch to my larger six millimeter needle. So I'm gonna do that 
as we knit this next row together. I've also moved to the charted part of the pattern. So if you remember from our previous months, to read a chart, you need to start in the bottom right corner, and it's usually labeled with a row number along the side. So this would be round number one. If you start in the bottom right corner, you knit across following the legend here, the chart key. And then you're going to repeat this around until the end of the hat, at which point when you get to your marker, you'll start round number two. And you'll be using this chart key to help decipher what's going on in this pattern. So let's start with row number one. Here we are, and I'm gonna use this piece of card to block off our chart. So I'm looking just at row number one. All right, I am gonna need my cable needle, so I'll leave it here on my pattern. So let's start with two knit stitches and two purl stitches, and then we're gonna do our cable. So get my new needle. This is gonna be a bit of an awkward round, but we can do it. To start by knitting two stitches, one, two, and then we're going to purl two stitches, one, and two. All right, and now we've gotten to our cable. So this is a cable, uh, well, this the way that they've denoted it is cable two over two left so it's a left leaning cable which means we want to put our held stitches to the front of the work so i'm going to start by slipping two stitches onto my cable needle purl wise so remember whenever you're slipping stitches unless directed you're always slipping purl wise all right so that we slip two purl wise next i'm going to knit the two stitches because we've got two and two so i've slipped two this is where it gets awkward because I have so many needles. So slip two, and I'm gonna knit two. There we are. And then I'm gonna come back to my cable needle, knit the two stitches off the cable needle. There we are. Oop. Good. And then I'm going to finish my chart with two pearls. One and two. Great. All right. So now we've hit the end of our repeat. So we're going to go back to the beginning again. Let's start with two knits. And then two pearls. And then, again, we come to our cable. So we are going to want to slip two to the cable needle, purl-wise. Knit the next two stitches. And then we're gonna take our cable needle and knit those two stitches. So that's all a cable is. It's just knitting those stitches out of order. Good. And then we're going to purl two. Good, and that's another repeat. And so it's a little bit hard to see when they're right up against the needle, but these two cables are left leaning. They lean towards the left, and that's because we brought the stitches to the front. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this round, and then we'll get back. All right, so I've gone ahead and finished the first cable row, row number one. And now the next few rows are a nice little brain break. We're just gonna be maintaining um, our standing pattern. So we've got knit two, purl two, knit four, purl two. And that's all we're gonna do for the next one, two, three rows. And then the next one is the same cable as we've been doing. Again, that's fabulous. So there's a little bit of brain break, a little bit of challenge, but we haven't challenged ourselves to something that's super strict. So let's go ahead and do a, a, a row or two of this plain knitting. All right, everybody. So we have finished a couple of plain rows and actually the next cable row is exactly the same as round one. So I'm not gonna demonstrate it that again. I'm actually gonna skip ahead to round seven. So obviously you would wanna finish your plain rows 
do another uh, left leaning cable row five, do another plain row for round six, and then do round seven. And the reason why I want to demonstrate the technique for round seven is because this cable is about to go wandering and it's about to wander with a few pearls in the mix. And so we want to make sure that when we're cabling, we are remembering that the first two stitches of our cable are going to be knits and the second two are going to be pearls. Okay, so let's give this a shot. We're going to start with two knit stitches here, one and two. And then this is going to be a little different than the cable that we did before. So this one is a right leaning cable, which means that our held stitches will go behind the work instead of in front. So let's grab our first two uh, stitches. We're going to slip them to the back. We're going to pop them behind the work and then we're going to knit the next two stitches. One and two. And then we're going to go ahead and come to our next, our held stitches, bring our yarn forward, and we're gonna purl these two. So it's not exactly like the cable we did last time. This time we have knits and purls together in the same cable. So let's take a quick look, make sure we got everything right. We've got two knit stitches, correct? We've got knit stitches on the front of our cable, purl stitches on the back of our cable, and then we're gonna knit two, and we're going to purl two to finish off the round. There we go. And let's repeat that right now. So we'll start with two knits. That's this row here that we're focusing on. Two knits. And then, oh, see I almost went for a purl. I'm going to grab my cable needle, slip these two stitches to the back of the work. Knit two. And then I'm going to come and grab my slip stitches and purl two. One. And two. There we go. And to finish the round, or to finish the repeat rather, knit two and purl two. And then you'll just want to continue repeating that along this round and you can see we've got a little interesting texture here this was our original cable the two of them two different rounds um, on your hat and then this one is going in a different direction it's sort of branching out from the cable before it and it's also throwing some pearls in between what used to be four knit stitches so you'll see in your pattern that you've got some wandering cables. Some will be the type of cable that we did at the beginning. Some are gonna be variations of your knit and purl cables. You just wanna remember <laughs> left leaning, the stitches come to the front. Right leaning, the stitches go to the back. And then as you approach the end, you'll have some decreases that help you to start to shape the top of your hat. At which point, when you get to the end of row 20, around 25, you can flip back to this decrease for the crown and, and move to your double pointed needles when you start to run out of room on your circular. And at the end, you're gonna break your yarn, sew in your tail, maybe make a pom-pom if you're feeling fancy or buy a pom-pom, um, and then wear your hat with pride. As always, if you have questions, please reach out to us. We're always happy to offer some help and we hope you enjoy this uh, April hat. Take care everybody, happy knitting.